When police found an abandoned horse, they couldn't understand why he won't move. It is standard for officers to go on patrol in their respective communities. On their patrols, officers encounter a lot of things, varying from lowly conflicts between friends to serious crimes committed by savage cons. Still, it is the duty of these men and women in uniform to respond to each matter, even in the times that they stumble upon something strange. Just like in this place, not far from the southeastern Spanish city of Algorfa, some officers got a call about an animal tied to a tree to which they responded. Its head was in a lowered position leaning towards the ground and nothing could get the poor thing to look at them. After calling a nearby shelter for help, they discovered something horrible. It was an ordinary day in the late September of the year 2017. However, Spain's Easy Care Horse Rescue Center, ECHRC, was predestined for something strange. They received a phone call from the local Almirati police. That alone is already unusual in itself for a horse rescue center is not something that police will casually dial. As they took the call, they were informed by authorities who were concerned about a horse strangely abandoned in Algorfa, a small city on the southeastern coast of the country. Upon hearing the situation at hand, the horse rescue center knew immediately that their services are badly needed. Rescuers arrived in just a short while, but were utterly disappointed with what they witnessed. The animal in question was in worse shape than what they thought. The unfortunate scene showed the animal tied to a tree, but it was left without food or water. How long it had been standing there helplessly, no one knows. This may be bad already, but still not the worst part. They knew right away that this poor animal needed their help. But as they got in for a closer look, the rescuers were shocked to see more signs of neglect on its body. The horse was severely malnourished to the point that its ribs jutted out of its sides. Its back legs were unable to move correctly too. It was also dehydrated per their observation. But all those physical signs aside, there was something else that caught their concern. The poor animal wouldn't look at them. No matter what they did, it refused to take its head out of a bush. Even at first glance, it can be readily determined that the animal had endured a considerable deal of stress and abuse. Its physical appearance alone had been screaming the suffering it had experienced. But now that people were approaching it and attempting to help it, the poor animal showed no signs of response. Though they've seen the animal's sorry state, the concerned officers had yet to find out the exact reason why the poor horse wouldn't move. The particular area where the horse had been abandoned was swarming with flies. And now that the rescuers were close enough, they'd seen that the poor pony's eyes appeared to be infected. Because of that, its face became a prime target for the fluttering pests. As it seemed, the horse had been keeping his head low within the bush in an attempt to save itself from the bugs that could land on its face and torture him non-stop. This made the concerned citizen's heart break into more pieces. Right then and there, the Easy Care Horse Rescue Center personnel knew that they had to help the abandoned horse. No animal deserved this kind of treatment, whether it was a horse or not. ECHRC published a post on their Facebook page stating that whoever abandoned the horse likely just tied him to a tree and left him. He'd survived starvation, dehydration, standing out in the full sun, everything. He deserves everything in the world that we can give him and more. The rescuers have decided to help in the rehabilitation of the poor abandoned horse, but in its current state, they couldn't help but question the possibility of providing this horse a normal life. Its condition was no small matter after all. After a few analyses, the rescuers figured out that the horse was 20 years old and no spring pony. It was also discovered that, sadly, it could barely walk in a straight line. It still has a long way to go on the road to a normal life. With its condition, the horse shouldn't spend any more time in the depressing place he was left in. It was like being sent to heaven when the rescuers took him to the shelter. There they assessed his injuries. They observed that both his eyes were infected, but the left one was seriously injured and was likely blind. His list of problems just kept going longer and longer with new additions after each observation. Though it was evident that the poor animal still had a long road ahead of him, the rescue team didn't give up. 
Now that he'd been rescued, the ground on which the horse stands is far from the miserable location he was abandoned in. The rescuers from EHCRC located him in a stable where he chewed down all he could, probably thinking he's gone to heaven. There's no good news yet from veterinarian Dr. Dorothea Dudley Von Dewitz. As it was said, he still has a long way to go. However, not everything can be concluded on the surface. The poor animal's injuries were much worse than they'd imagined. The veterinarian got an x-ray machine and pointed it right at the back of the horse. They suspected that their observations were not all there was to it, given his condition has not yet improved. And then they spotted an unforeseen injury that seemed to have a terrifying origin. Going unnoticed at first, the injury turned out to be something significant. It may even be possible that this is the real reason why the horse can't look his rescuers in the eyes. An injury as serious as this would not be possible without a cruel act. The horse seems to have suffered a sharp blow at some point in his bleak past. This eventually broke two vertebrae in his neck, gravely injuring the poor animal. It turns out that the pony doesn't lift its head not because he doesn't want to, but because he can't, even if he wanted to and it was due to the condition that his neck was revealed to be in. Before the horse's neck injury was detected, the reasons behind all his strange gestures and strides were conjured up with theories, but now, their recent discovery answered almost all their wildest guesses. The injury explained why the horse walked strangely, and possibly why his eyes were damaged as well. As bad as the injury may seem, it has paved the way for the definition of the horse's backstory. It appears that he was most likely struck, disabled, and left for dead. What the pitiful pony has gone through cannot be changed anymore. Though his injuries could be healed, it doesn't change the fact that he was maltreated and damaged, even though he didn't do anything to deserve it. Thankfully, he had a team committed to make him feel welcome and loved. ECHRC also wrote on their Facebook post that, He's a special needs pony, but the good news is his condition shouldn't deteriorate any further. Now he has proper care. The ECHRC rescuers provided the horse with his basic needs. However, it was not only food, water, and necessary medical attention that they have given selflessly to him. They also spoiled him with some TLC, as it is among the necessities that the horse was lacking. Realizing the animal's needs and more, the rescue team were successful in their operations. He was finally able to lift his head to snuggle up to his saviors after just a few days of rescue. Yet something was still missing. Time has passed and it can't be denied that the horse has been through a lot. But after all he's endured and survived, he still needs something more. A name. The institution had weighed many possible tags and had also received feedback from Facebook fans. Among their choices were names that celebrated his courage and skin color. Names like Trooper and Coco were suggested. However, the rescue team had a better idea in mind. Finally, the ECHRC had settled for a new name after a few days. Fudge. The Facebook fans had been awaiting if any of their suggestions would be picked, and so the rescue team wrote a post saying, It was a tough choice, but we felt Fudge suited this little fellow perfectly. They found the name perfect for the sweet brown horse they just rescued from misery. Carrying a brand new name, Fudge can officially leave his old tragic life behind. Time flew by so fast that before they knew it, it was already October, a month after they first found Fudge. It was both a short and a long time for him. A short time for him to make such progress and a long time away from his old life and into his new haven. He's gaining weight. He's certainly a lot stronger and much more lively. He gets about much better now than he did before, the rescuers said of Fudge's development. Though a horse's natural habitat is on a wide open range, it's not possible for Fudge to enjoy a home in it. In fact, the founder of ECHRC, Sue Weeding, said that it is highly unlikely Fudge will ever leave the rescue center. However, there's no problem with that at all. Sue and her team had grown fond of sweet little Fudge, and they couldn't get enough of their new baby. If the last people he'd interacted with are cruel to him, his new family is the exact opposite. On their website, ECHRC has written a beautiful statement. We believe that when you love an animal, you have to fight to save it. They may be old crocs and broken down and disabled or whatever, but for the abuse they've suffered and survived, 
they deserve a second chance. Of course, Sweet Little Fudge was no exception. Remember that the rescued poor animal on the photos is in much better condition today. He might have suffered hugely in the past, but his miserable days are over. He now gets to live out his happy days in a legitimate horse haven.